Um, obviously, Coach, from an offensive standpoint, a lot of positives to take away uh, with the 742 uh, total yards. What do you see from the offense that was so different from weeks prior? Well, I mean, I think, one, we got our tempo going. Um, you know, the biggest thing coming out of there, you know, we win the game, you know, wanting to take care of the football. Obviously, we had a couple, couple, couple errors there. One of them wasn't, wasn't really in our control. Um, but, uh, you know, really just getting a rhythm and tempo. And I thought we played very physical, physically dominated the line of scrimmage and dominated the run game and uh, really proud of the effort. That was our, our best performance of the year. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, we just, you know, obviously, you know, it's uh, uh, putting it all together is a big thing. You know, after looking at the film, I couldn't be more proud of the effort that our guys gave. I think um, it was impeccable. Um, Obviously, some things really hurt us. Um, um, you know, the, the kickoff return was a big, a big deal that hurt us. Uh, special teams, you know, we, we didn't play our best special teams wise, and we'd been playing really stellar there. And and then, um, you know, we, we um, gave up too many big plays defensively. And then, um, um, but it was a heck of a it was a heck of a football game when I watched it. It was a one heck of a game, and uh, it's one of those that. Um, you know, you, you look at and you get done with it and, you you know, there's about 20 plays I think could affect the outcome. Uh, but uh, really proud of um, our guys' effort and how hard they played. I was very impressed. I don't think I've, you know, I mean, I, our guys are playing hard. We just got to eliminate the mistakes and, and uh, put it together. And that's the reality of it. The reality of it is that we've lost two really close games, uh, one to Utah and, and one to Oregon uh, that, uh, you know, the uh, – you know, we, we didn't uh, – th and those are games that we won the year before. So that's what it boils down to every year. You know, you got to win the close games. And so we got to pick ourselves up off the ground, go to work, and uh, plan a really – I mean, I was very impressed with Washington State against uh, Stanford, and uh, Coach Leach is doing a great job of those guys. They're a very, very good football team. And uh, we got to go uh, go up there and uh, figure out a way to, to put it all together. We, we know what our potential is on offense. We know what our potential is on defense. We know what our potential is in kicking game. Got to put it all together. Coach, you kind of touched on it a second ago. I just want to get your thoughts on uh, trying to keep uh, the emotions high and, and try to end strong with these last four games. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, our guys, I'll tell you this, we played harder uh, last week. I mean, each week, I mean, I, I, I can't ever fault our team in their effort. Our guys never give up. They never quit. Uh, they play to the end of the whistle. They play to the last whistle. And so uh, uh, our guys, this is a great group of seniors. And, um, you know, uh, as a as a as a team, we hadn't gotten it done, uh, and and uh, and really, to be really honest with you, it's been two games. You know, uh, um, you know Utah and and um, uh, Oregon, the two conference games. You know, we played really poorly against USC, and they played really well, and that's the only game we've really been. You know, um, I think uh, that, that that really got beat, but. Um, you know, you you got to you got to pick yourself up and go on, and that's uh, that's what our guys that's what our guys will do. I mean, our guys have got great character; they're going to play hard, and um, you know, obviously, it's a different matchup with Washington State, but um, uh, you know, there's still a lot of a lot of a lot for these guys to play for. These guys have been a part of a pretty uh, special time here, and uh, these seniors are really important. So we've talked a lot about that, and talked about you know um, you know we can control what we can control, and. Uh, um, but these guys will go and play. I, I don't have any doubt in how they'll go and go and play. But it's Pac-12, man. Every week, you know, it didn't matter what week you're playing. You, you just pull that film out and you go like, man. You know, every every week, um, uh, it's a challenge, and uh, it, it's not unique to us. You know, you look around, you see, uh, um, you know, USC, UCLA. You see, you know, every team in our country. You know, even even Oregon, we just played. They, you know, this has been a it's, it's a, the Pac 12's one that's a very tough to navigate, and it's the margin for error. You know, winning and losing is that is that that thin, and um, um, you know um, that's uh, that's why you got to bring it every week. But I, I don't worry about our guys' emotion. Todd, did you get an explanation from the from Oregon's touchdown in the third quarter from the officiating crew, and have you heard back from the conference at all regarding that call? Uh, I, I turned all those plays in, and uh, you know, obviously, Doug, I can't comment about 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 the officiating, uh, but I did send them in. I've not heard back. 
Uh, DJ said after the last game that he enjoyed sort of going back to a little bit more of that older role, being more in the backfield. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you feel about his performance and the amount of touches he got? Yeah. yeah, again, I thought it was one of our best before. The, you know, his effort and uh, his leadership's been critical for us, and uh, thought thought I mean, thought, he, thought he played really well, uh, as well as you know most of the guys on the offensive side. I thought Demario, um, you know, Kalen, their effort, how they finish runs, how our receivers finished. You know, uh, yards after catch and, and yards after contact was phenomenal. Uh, so, you know, I thought it was it was our best game offensively. But on the on the on that deal, Doug, I haven't heard anything back. So, we'll see. How does Washington State look different this year than the previous years you guys have played them? You know, uh, I think um, you know, obviously, the you know, coach's system is is a really difficult system, uh, and and they just got confidence. Uh, you know, same offensive line, uh, same quarterback, um, uh, a lot of same, a lot of the same players. It just, uh, you know, they're stronger, they're faster, and they're confident. You know, I think they were three and nine last year, and they're five and three, and they they just lost in the last play of the game, or they they could have been six and two. So uh, it's just confidence and. Uh, um, you know how hard they're playing. I, I they're they're playing extremely hard. I was really impressed with them against Stanford. Todd, one of your players, Deontay Reynolds, was involved in some sort of incident over the weekend. What's his status with the team? Uh, it, there's, I mean, it was a a, a deal where he uh, uh, was a victim. So um, you know, um, uh, he's uh, just recovering right now.